There's someone you need to meet. Who? His name is Abraham Johnson. He's in Indianapolis. Road trip! Road trip. Go Derek, you, you gotta go alone. Indianapolis, here I come. Wait, a road trip? It's gonna be a long car ride. Yeah, yeah. You should knock. No, 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 you should knock. I, I drove us up here. I don't even know we're here. I'll let you live with us. Sup? Sir, if I may speak freely, I... Yes, sir. No, sir, that's, that's not necessary. No, sir, I haven't forgotten about Eddie. Yes, sir. I'll take care of it. Hashtag never forget. Must be pretty quiet around here at that Derek and Antonio. Yeah, it's weird. Last night was the first time I've ever slept somewhere alone. How'd that go? Not great. I watched it follow and slept with a knife by the bed. The movie's not even that scary. Well, the worst part was when I fell off the bed and fell on the knife. Freaking red shells. First. First. Loser. Well, I gotta go meet Jimmy, so have fun being alone. I'll have fun being in first place. Never thought I'd see you here. We need to talk. Got no patience to deal with you today, party boy. You're being tapped. Excuse me? Are you gonna invite me in or what, pizza bro? Yeah, come on in. Are you Abraham Johnson? Yes. Can I help you with something? I was told to find you. By who? By the ghost of Party Pete. Oh, so that's what this is about. I think you two had better come inside. Oh, thank God, I'm so cold. You look really familiar. Did I deliver a pizza to you once? You're thinking of my twin brother, Wesley. Oh, okay. We sure do know a lot of twins. Yeah. Actually, twin births happen more often than you might think. Approximately three to three and a half out of 100 pregnancies will result in twin births. Who oh, no! knew? They have half pregnancy. Now, what I'm about to say may come as a bit of a shock to you two. Probably. Derek didn't really explain why we were coming here. Pablo wasn't the only owner of the Pizza Party Palace. What? He and Party Pete were partners. What? Pete brought the party. And Pablo brought the pizza. And together, they built a palace. That's the most shocking news I've heard in my entire life! Well, that's still dramatic. There's more. MORE?! In the weeks leading up to his death, Party Pete became particularly paranoid that people were pursuing him and had a new will drawn up. And he left all of the shares to you. To me?! Well, no, to Derek and, and to Brennan. To, to the Pizza Bros. Oh. How do you know all of this? Oh, I'm his lawyer. Was that not clear? So, Brendan and I legally own part of Pablo's Pizza Party Palace? Legally, yes. The problem is proving it. What do you mean? I know Party Pete the only copy. Before he could recover it, he was killed. You didn't keep a copy? I didn't say I was a very successful lawyer. Or is there any chance that Pablo kept the will? The only way that would make sense is if he had some sort of weird compulsion where he had to save every single document in his life. Sure would be convenient. I can't believe it. We came all this way for nothing. So back to the car? 
I mean, if you guys want to like, you know, hang out, we could, we could do that. side for years, but that doesn't mean he's not impressed with your accomplishments. I already delivered pizzas. Why would I want to deliver for Pablo? You don't have to say yes today. Just take the meeting. The meeting? With who? Well, the big man himself. Pablo? The one and only. I would call but I lost the phone three weeks ago. Brennan? Brennan, what you're about to see is gonna change your life forever. Run.